Now, one of the things we're going to do from here, after these animals are chilled, after we've got them in the cooler, and that, that's anywhere from 24 to 48 hours after they're harvested, we're going to roll them out, and if they're fed cattle like this, they're going to be graded. Okay? And so we're going to, and again, we'll talk about that this afternoon, so we're going to rib the carcass here between the 12th and 13th ribs, right here. You see Ray's here uh, measuring fat thickness there at the rib eye. Uh, and as we look at the carcass, then we break it down into major primals being the round, this whole thing being the loin. We break that into portions. That's the sirloin and the short loin, the rib, the chuck. And then we call these minor cuts. Now I know for if we've got a whole class for brisket, Maybe we need, we need to make this a major cut instead of minor, for us at least. But here it is, what the part of it you can see behind this foreshank, the plate, and the flank. And like, like Jeff said, when we do the Beef 101 class, we go in a lot more detail and what those cuts are, where they come from, those kind of things. But just so you have a pretty good idea. Now we start breaking those apart into right here, this line is at that 12th and 13th rib interface. And so this whole thing is a forecourt. This whole area back here is a hindquarter. So if we look at this forecourt and we make these cuts where these lines are on here, we've got these major cuts. This is an old way of cutting beef, but this is what we call a square cut chuck, a rib, that foreshank, the brisket came right from right there. So it's just a saw cut in between there. And the plate or flank, or plate uh, right here, the flank would be back here, the plate, which is another fatty area. So one of the things, and I'll talk about these and, and what we're using them for again in a second, but this muscle that's in the chuck portion up here, that's still deep pectoral muscle. <clears throat> this muscle is still deep pectoral muscle. So we're really in a brisket just taking the heart out of that muscle, essentially. The middle portion of it is in a brisket. And we'll talk about why here uh, in just a second. <clears throat> if we cut these a little differently, the brisket is really the only one that really stays the same. We can take this a four quarter apart into uh, a uh, chuck roll and a shoulder clod. Some of you may use shoulder clods, some for uh, barbecue as well. If you're using, if you've got a lot of people to feed, uh, we get that ribeye roll out of there. We still, our brisket looks the same though, except we've taken here, we've taken the bones and everything off of it. And this is a mock tender or a, a tougher piece uh, that came off of the side of this shoulder clod. So there's, that's just two different ways of cutting. If you're going to a small packer somewhere, a local locker plant, they might still be doing this. If you're getting cuts in Sam's or uh, from in a box beef kind of setting, most of the time they're going to be more like this. Okay. So they're just a little different how I put them together. Now, if we want to take that brisket though out of that carcass, here's what we do. Just so you got an idea, we would separate the chuck from the brisket in this foreshank. And this is the this is the inside portion of the carcass. Okay, that's where we split it right down the center. So here's the vertebra split right down the center. We've got you know all the feather bones and all the things you see over here. It's just half of it. There's bones down here. This is the sternum. This is the split surface of the breastbone. It has, if you notice, these first five or six ribs actually connect by some cartilage in here to that sternum. Here's that, boy, now you can see what we're talking about with that. If that calf was walking right there, no brisket would be sticking out pretty good, wouldn't it? Look how much fat's on this one. He's pretty, he's pretty loaded there with uh, the amount of fat on that carcass. But here's a brisket, so what we're gonna do we would cut between the fifth and sixth ribs, right here, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, right here. 
And you can see there's a pretty good area in between. One of the rules of meat cutting is you cut more valuable from less value. Well, when you do this, we're cutting between the rib and the chucks. We're going to stay real close to this fifth rib. So we'll make that cut right there. And we cut all the way up, but when we cut the brisket off, we're <coughs> finding an area at the end of this first rib, the cartilage that goes into the sternum, and making that perpendicular to the cut we made here. So there's the brisket coming off.